very much, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies, creative geniuses from all over the world, whether in music, business, entrepreneurship, it's an honor to speak to you, ladies and gentlemen. I represent the group dealing with peace and stability. And uh, our key, three key themes are involving business in creating peace. The UN Global Compact has created the initiative involving more than 150 companies in creating business for peace. There are so many things businesses can contribute. We were discussing uh, one's effort on creating data availability for sustainability to allow companies better to operate. We're talking about uh, some of our members of government reminded us who are in business to make sure we go back and actually live up to all the very nice words we talk about here. That's going to have a very convincing, credible effect on heads of government and state when business actually lives up to the very fine words uh, we're expressing today. Our second theme is linking security, climate change and education. There is a strong link between societies facing extreme poverty, extreme climate change, they're also facing uh, extreme violence or major security issues, whether due to extreme ideology or other topics. We talked about simple measures done by certain companies, such as removing the fence on their properties, inviting people uh, to be part of their property, to really listen to the people on the ground, as opposed to thinking we know what all the answers are, so involving them in a co-creation. But a very important example is the refugee situation at this moment, where now the average tenure of a refugee in a camp is 17 years. That's hardly a short-term status, and there's so much that can be done to help refugees integrate better and become better educated, such that a stay in a camp becomes a lifetime opportunity to enhance your skills and your uh, experience as a child as you grow up. Third topic for us is transparency, transparency of opaque financing of organizations that create instability in the world, uh, transparency on how to make land available, transparency on infrastructure, leveraging the connectivity initiative that we just heard about from Mark Zuckerberg, and transparency on taxes paid. So those were the three themes that are out at our table. Um, I think what I would just like to share in addition is there is overwhelming evidence that failing states leads to a failed childhood. Children who go through a terrible childhood are marked by it for the rest of life we know from neuroscience that they will unfortunately never recover. But there is a lot we can do, but if we don't take care of children, states will continue to fail in the future. And therefore, one of the initiatives I'm proud to announce is our joint partnership with UNICEF to bring a focus on early childhood education and children's rights all over the world, starting with a major collaboration in South Africa, bringing playful learning to children, 4 million children across South Africa in the years ahead. Thank you very much.